Hello friends, it's James Lambert here, the motivational coach. I went from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a different way. So today what's really been on my mind and I wanted to share with you is one of my personal favourite uh, modern motivational speakers. It's a chap called Eric Thomas, an American speaker and entrepreneur. If you're not familiar with his work, I encourage you to check it out on YouTube, Eric Thomas really fantastic stuff and I was watching one of his most recent videos last week and after I'd finished watching it I scrolled down to the comment section and there was a comment that really I think to be fair to be truthful it irked me somewhat and it gave me the basis of this quick video I wanted to share and it was sort of along the lines of you know Eric Thomas has got rich man problems now and I thought well that's that's ridiculous really because rich man problems, poor man problems, you know, rich or poor woman problems. We've all got problems, you know, if we choose to focus on, on them. But moreover, what, and, and particularly, in, we have this malaise of, of, of thinking in the United Kingdom, I can say I was born here, but we focus on the problem. Everyone talks about their problems. I can't find a good life partner, I've got no money, I can't find a good job, the economy, there's bad. We're always negative, negative. And I thought, hang on, why don't we, individually to begin with, why aren't we solution-orientated rather than problem-orientated? And it's just a slight shift in thinking, but yet it's a vast change. It's, it's paradigm shifting. So I really encourage all of you out there, friends, to start shifting your mindset to rather than focusing on the problems, the so-called perceived problems, to focusing on the solutions. So if you think you can't find a good man or a woman to date, you know, start thinking, you know, not out of the box, you know, there is no box, get rid of the box, but start thinking about what you can do. Maybe go to a geographically different location. Don't go to the same clubs. Don't go to the same pubs. Try the internet, you know. Just try something different. We've all heard that saying, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly. You know, it's like banging one's head against the wall and wondering why you've got a headache. And come on, I just really think, and I encourage all of you, I speak to myself included, that we really must, I think, be solution orientated and focus on how we can overcome the perceived challenge or obstacle. So just a very quick one, as I say, you know, rich man problems, poor man problems, it's all problems. Moreover, I don't even want us to think about the problems unless we're thinking about how we can overcome them. Because again, like an earlier video I did, I really think in these times, very unique times, special times, but if you're not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. And as much as I love everyone that watches this and you know, I wish everyone great peace, you, know, you really have to think about that now. Because we haven't got time to, you know, we need a lot more peace, a lot more positivity. So do your bit and stop complaining. And, you know, try to hang around less with complainers. And if you can't help it, they're in your workplace and so on. Just don't contribute to it. If you have to hear that nonsense, don't add to it. So as always, my friends, I wish you nothing but the best. You are unstoppable and I believe in you.